So last year, I made a bunch of videos about how my New Year's resolution for last year was to come out of my shell. And there were several videos where I talked about that. You know, that was my first video it was kind of about how I was trying to do that and failing. And then uh, after that, there were a few videos about how I was like all wound up about going to this party. And then I went to the party and had too much to drink and uh, embarrassed myself. And what I found interesting is that there were many people who in the comments of the videos were like, why? Why are you trying to get out of your shell? What's the point? I think one person even said, my resolution is to go further into my shell. And I was like, oh, I don't know what that means. But if you're watching, I heard you. And so here it is a year later, and I don't care as much about getting out of my shell this year. And I am looking back on it, and I'm like, why? What was the... What was the impetus, what was the motivation, the reasoning behind wanting to get out of my shell? Whatever that means, to be more social, to go out and meet people. I suppose part of it is that I sensed there was a boundary within me that a lot of other people don't have, where I just felt cut off from other people and I didn't and I felt afraid and I didn't like that I didn't like this constant feeling like it was almost against the rules to be to involve myself with other people if that makes sense I don't know what because my whole life that's how I've operated is to be closed off from other people is not as simple as I wanted to push my comfort zone. Like, it's a little bit deeper than that. Like, I felt a very strong boundary. It wasn't just a zone. It was this cutoff point where it's like, nope, not doing that. Not not going to put myself out there and, and meet new people. I suppose another part of it was I just realized there's billions of people in the world, and I intentionally limit myself and don't talk to more than you know a dozen of them unless I have a direct reason to so I was I was like maybe I should be pushing myself to see who else is out there in the last year I haven't changed a lot but I suppose I've been developing a bit more I've become more interested in I guess spirituality if you want to call it that or if you want to get really pretentious, awakening, enlightenment, that kind of stuff. In, in becoming more interested in that, I've lost the interest in going outside of myself. I still feel that pull like, man, I just want, I, I want to break down that thing inside of me that wants to keep a barrier up. But at the same time, now I'm, I'm kind of like accepting of it. I've always been a loner kind of I mean I've always had friends but I've always felt like it was extremely difficult to connect with anyone meaningful or anyone meaningfully I guess is more accurate ultimately I come to this kind of what's the point opinion about about these kind of optional social interactions you know what I mean and I went through a period where I felt like being a loner was a bad thing and th that's more recent, like it, I was okay with it before, but I was also kind of entrenched in it, like this is who I am, I'm a loner, man, I'm, I don't need no one else. And then I reached a, a point where I thought, you know, this isn't really helping me grow at all, and maybe that's where the whole wanting to come out of my shell thing came from. And now I'm not rejecting this whole thing is of being a loner and I'm not embracing it either but I'm just kind of accepting that okay that's there and looking at every everything around that and what's behind it sometimes it comes down to this thing where I feel totally out of place in the world like there is no place for me like everyone else seems to be able to find a place it always feels like there's something I'm looking for that isn't there or I haven't found it 
And I sometimes wonder if it's because I see the world as I think it should be, not as it is. And then when I come face to face with how it is, I'm like, well, this is wrong and I don't want any part of it. Part of it is also that I'm just too darn sensitive. It's like easy to upset me, not in a way where I get mad or whatever, but it's like easy for me to feel off balance and like lost because of things in the outside world. And I th part of my impetus for seeking some kind of spiritual deepening is because I don't like that. I don't like feeling like I'm so sensitive and out of place that I can't handle life. And it's I, I don't want to go through some kind of transformation where I toughen up, you know, where I get rid of the sensitivity. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to uh, dull my senses or my, you know, myself. I just don't, I don't want to be bothered by it anymore. I want to, if, if I am indeed going to be mostly a loner, I don't want to be bothered by it. I, I'm just tired of feeling like repulsed by the world and by everyone in it. I don't know that I want to feel like I belong but I don't want to feel like I am ostracized either. If I'm outside of the world, fine, whatever. I just hate, hate that story, I guess, of it being because I'm kept out. I feel like I'm really not making a heck of a lot of sense here. The more I think about socializing and all that, and I have a desire to do it, to meet new people and make friends, but ultimately it sometimes feels pointless. Like it's just... Uh, an exercise in doing something uncomfortable and draining and shallow because most people don't seem to uh, be interested in the things I am. This is not to make me sound like I'm some kind of deep whatever. It's not an ego thing. Like, I'm not trying to say, man, I'm deep, so I'm, you know better than everyone else or like everyone else has their priorities messed up you know if people want to live in kind of a surface way if that's what they find satisfaction in that's fine even that sounds judgmental doesn't it yeah, if people want to live crappy lives go ahead i guess what i mean is that i realize that my vision of what a good life is doesn't match everyone else and i'm you know trying to come to accept that but then what does that mean that most people don't view living uh like a meaningful life in the same way that i do and i'm not even sure what i think about living a meaningful life the more i study this spirituality crap the more i realize that i don't know anything and even And it's like the things that I thought I knew the most, I have to come to a point where like I really don't know. I don't know what any of it's about. And that kind of leads you to a place of being tired internally. And you just want to kind of let go of everything. Part of it, I think, also is that I felt like I was... I think I was looking for some kind of salvation in other people, in friendships... Like my life would suddenly be better and I would be saved if I could just, you know, make some quality social connections. Looking for salvation in the future or in other people or in other things is uh, going to make you unhappy, I think. A lot of the spiritual teachings I've been looking at suggest that salvation is now. Salvation isn't something in the future, and it's not in a thing. It's just, it's there, and you can either give up everything that you're clinging to and just find it, or you can continue to uh, look for it in something outside of yourself, something that hasn't happened yet, if that makes any sense at all. Like, the whole thing about resolutions, it's like creating all these desires of things I need to do or not do, when I think the answer is really just to let go of it all. 
I don't know. I don't know anything. Uh, if anything, I think this year I need to be okay with being alone. And in many ways, I don't feel like I need anyone else. That's not to, you know, say that I Am a Rock by Simon and Garfunkel is my theme song. But maybe that's the truth for all of us, that we don't need anything else or anyone else, that all we need is there already, and we need to let go of all the things that are clouding our vision from seeing that. Words introduce so many imprecisions and obfuscations into reality, and that's all I'm doing is talking. And the more I talk about it, the less it makes sense, doesn't it? And you can tell that I can't even really make sense of what I'm feeling and the things that I'm, I, I think are true or whatever. So those, those are just my thoughts for right now. I think I need to go into this deeper, more coherently, and uh, figure out the meaning of life and everything. Although the meaning of life, it's very simple. It's, it's just life. That's the meaning of life, is right now. That's the meaning of life. I figured it out. <laughs> Close the internet. It's done. But it's not very satisfactory, is it, to say that you know, the meaning of life needs to be something in the future. It needs to be what I'm going to do with my life or, you know, making everything better than it is, changing things around. It's very dissatisfactory. Is that a word? Dissatisfying to think that perhaps the meaning of life is just living. It's just right now. That's the meaning of life. That's all there is. That's the purpose of life. And imposing all these outside things like, oh, I'm gonna meet a bunch of people. Maybe it's good to challenge yourself and grow, but when you make your salvation that thing, that I'm gonna make a bunch of friends, and that's setting yourself up for suffering, I think. But what do I know? Nothing, really. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you've watched this far, you have a high threshold for pain. And I commend you on that. Hope if you like this, you'll subscribe, stick around for other long rambling things. Will you take care? And we'll see each other again here at some time one day.